Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer. Today is Wednesday after the fifth Sunday of Easter. Uh, our readings for this morning are <clears throat> Psalm 72 found on page 685 in the Book of Common Prayer. And the lessons are from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 13, 1 through 9, and also Luke chapter 18, 16 through 25. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, and we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. <clears throat> Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. His foes shall bow down before him and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall pay tribute and the kings of Arabia and Sabah offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him and all the nations do him service for he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress and the oppressed who has no helper. <clears throat> he shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. May its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain like grass upon the earth. May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Bless, blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds, and blessed be his glorious name forever. And may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon. For all people who were ignorant of God were foolish by nature, and they were unable from the good things that are seen to know the one who exists, or did, nor did they recognize the artisan while paying heed to his works. But they supposed that either fire or wind or swift air or the circle of the stars, or turbulent water, or the luminaries of heaven were the gods that rule the world. If through delight in the beauty of these things people assume them to be gods, let them know how much better than these is their Lord, 
for the author of beauty created them. And if people were amazed at their power and working, let them perceive from how the, let them perceive them how much more powerful is the one who formed them. For from the greatness and beauty of created things comes a corresponding perception of their creator. Yet these people are little to be blamed, for perhaps they go astray while seeking God and desiring to find him. For while they live among his works, they keep searching and they trust in what they see, and because the things that are seen are beautiful. Yet again, not even they are to be excused, for if, <clears throat> for if they had the power to know so much that they could investigate the world, how did they fail to find sooner the Lord of these things? The word of the Lord. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom and shrouds the peoples. But over you, the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open by day or night. They will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in the land, in your land, <clears throat> ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. No one after lighting a lamp hides it under a jar or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light for nothing is hidden that will not be disclosed, nor is anything secret that will not become known and come to light. Then pay attention to how you listen. For to those who have, more will be given. And from those who do not have, even what they seem to have will be taken away. Then his mother and his brothers came to him. But they could not reach him because of the crowd. And he was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside wanting to see you. But he said to them, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. One day he got into a boat with his disciples and he said to them, let us go across the other side of the lake. So they put out and while they were sailing, he fell asleep. A windstorm wept, swept up, uh, swept down on the lake. And the boat was filling with water and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up saying, shouting rather, master, master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging of waves and they ceased and there was calm and said to them, where is your faith? And they were afraid and amazed and said to net, they said to one another, who then is this that he commands even the winds and waters and they obey him? The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of the God of Israel. He has come to his people to set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets, who promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Of all, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thanks for joining in morning prayer. Hope everyone has a wonderful day ahead.